Hi friends, Jaylene here. Today I am going to walk you through the process of creating this cute little starfish. And uh, to get started, the materials list, I'll go over that real quick for you, is just the watercolor paper and of course my watercolor paints. I do have a nice little mixing tray here for my paints if I need it. And then of course my water. Uh, I will be using a number eight round Princeton brush. And I do also have my um, mechanical pencil and an eraser. And so to get started, we'll set the, that aside and I will get out my um, clean piece of watercolor paper. And now before I started the video, I did go through and sketched in the starfish real quick just so that I wouldn't have to put you through that process of it because I will be going over the lines again with my Sharpie marker. So before I get started on this, I would like to ask you to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. It really helps me grow and I appreciate each and every one of you. So what I'm going to do is uh, actually start with going over the lines and, and sketching this in. And when you're drawing a starfish, it's a real basic thing to keep in mind that it's a, like a head, two arms, and two legs. And so there's always five tentacles. I shouldn't say always, but on most starfish, there's five tentacles. And on most all that I draw and paint, there's five. And so I'm just gonna go over this real quick and get all penciled in, or, or penned in, I should say. And there's so many different variations of starfish, so if you wanna get creative or you know, kind of look around maybe on Pinterest for different um, styles, this one is just kind of a fun one, and once I get done with this, I'll be putting it in a little frame. And I thought it was kind of whimsical and fun, and. Um, you know, just have, have a good time doing it. So then for the frame of this, I, w I kind of did just flowy lines to keep everything, um, you know, just kind of moving in a very wavy form. And for the, you know, for an outline of this, you could do whatever you wanted. If you wanted to frame it in a little differently this was just kind of fun I don't even know where I came up with this and then as I mentioned I'll be putting it in a little frame and probably out on my lanai somewhere um, I live on the Gulf Coast of Florida so yes we do have lanai's in case you were wondering about that And so this marker is a Sharpie marker and it's very important to use a marker um, that is waterproof so that it doesn't smudge and smear as you're painting with your watercolors. Another nice um, pen to use is a Micron. And with the Micron, they do come in different size nibs. So if you want a finer point or a heavier point, you have some nice options. Now for uh, the inside of this, I'm just going to go through and put in a bunch of little circles. And I'm going to go up the middle of each one of the arms with larger circles and then kind of fill in around each one of those with smaller circles. And this is where you could really get creative and if you wanted to put lines or, um, boy, just about anything you could, you know, fill in the tentacles with. For this theme, I just thought I'd stick with the ovals everywhere. Gives it a fun look. All 
All right, and then I'm gonna just kind of create some smaller circles to fill it in and give it some nice texture. And I will be painting all of these in, so I wanna make sure that they're actual circles and not just dots. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know I absolutely love my dots. This is just kind of fun. Okay, so I do have that all filled in. So now I'm going to go through, um, actually I do want to grab my eraser real quick and just kind of erase any of the pencil lines that I had on here. On many of my designs, I do leave the pencil lines because I kind of like that sketchy look. Although on here, I want to be just a little bit crisper without the um, those extra little sketch lines. Okay, and then this is the fun part where we start painting it, filling everything in. And so uh, what I'm going to do is start with some of the outside, um, the, the frame of this. And I'm just going to grab, I'm going to use a purple. And uh, with this purple, actually I'm going to use a different shade of purple. That's just a little too pinkish. So for this, I'm going to just use very little paint and a lot of water because I just want a hint of the purple in this area. And the reason that I'm painting these first is because I am going to want this to dry so that I can go over top of it uh, and paint in the, the ovals that I have on here. And so to do that, I'm going to want it to be very dry. Um, so it's like a layered effect with the paints. And I'm using, as I mentioned, a lot of water on my brush and just very little paint. Just to give it a hint of the uh, purple color. We don't want it real dark. And as you know, uh, with watercolor paints, as they dry, they do have a tendency to lighten up which that's really nice, especially for something like this. And you can see right there, I went out of the lines a little bit and that's fine because this is just, you know, it's an ink and wash and it's just a very loose, uh, you know, painting. And there will be another background color in there. So it'll all end up blending together quite nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for a couple minutes and while that's drying, I'm gonna do the same effect basically with the starfish portion of this. I wanna go through and get that all painted in um, with a very light blue color and then I will go over that, uh, over the dots or the little ovals once it dries. And so this is just a real quick, cute design You know, if you wanted to put something together real quick on a weekend morning, and uh, this would be a great little project. And so you can see I'm just very quickly coloring this in, painting this in, I should say, with, uh, I'm using an ultra, or this is actually a turquoise blue. And very lightly just kind of putting a hint of color in here and again if you want your starfish to be you know a whole other color theme or scheme um, you know be, get creative with it and just have fun the colors in this are actually going to go well in the area of my home that i plan on putting it and then i will put actually frame it in a nice bright white frame so it'll look great. Okay, so I have that um, all taken care of. And now I will go, well actually I think I'm gonna work on the background of this. 
So for the background, I do want it to be just the sandy uh, color. So I'm going to use some raw umber and I'm going to mix in just a hint of burnt sienna to give it a little, a little more uh, maybe orangish look. Is, is Maybe that's the color that I'm thinking. And now that's much darker than what I really intend on. So I'm just going to uh, load my brush up with water and use that to kind of lighten things up a little bit. And with this, if there are areas that are darker than other areas, that's fine. It just adds a little bit of dimension and um, depth to the whole look, and it doesn't have to be real super perfect. You can see I just kind of dabbed a little bit in that one area to, to give it just a little bit of a darker color, deeper, not really darker. And then I'll go over to this area. Let me grab just a little bit more. So you can see there's quite a bit of paint there. And once again, I'm just dunking my brush into the water and getting more water on here to move the paints around. And you can see how quickly this goes. I've actually done several similar designs with the starfish on greeting cards for uh, clients of mine that, you know, they want that beach feel, that beach theme. And so I have put a lot of starfish on uh, greeting cards as well. They're very popular. And with this, you could even do different colors on the background here if you wanted to. I just wanted to give it that earthy look or earthy feel. All right, and see how quickly this moves along. And uh, I think I had mentioned it before that if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, if you could go ahead and do that, I would appreciate it. If you're enjoying this video and want to see more, um, hit the bell and you will be notified when I have new videos coming out. And then also, um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I do like to read them. I, I get back to everyone. Um, and it just, it's great support for my channel. I'm a one person show. I do all of the content. I do the editing and come up with the ideas. And so um, all of the support that I get from you is greatly appreciated. Okay, so we've completed the background of this. And see how quickly this goes? It moves along nice. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the purple on the outside. And for this, I'm grabbing, it's the same purple actually, and I'm just going to be putting a heavier amount on my brush and then into the circles. And let me make sure I don't have a lot of water on there, which I thought I did. This Princeton brush is really nice because of the fine point tip. And if you, ha if you don't happen to have a brush with a real fine point tip, um, then just use a smaller brush. You know, you, this is a size eight, but you can do so much with it. It's probably my go-to brush for a lot of projects. And you can see I have a tendency to get just a little too much water on there. The brush itself does hold a lot of water. So for many projects, that's a real benefit. All right, and moving right along, right? And if you go back uh, to some of my previous videos, you'll see that I do have quite a few 
that are a beach theme because as I mentioned, I live on the Gulf Coast of Florida, so I do have a tendency to make a lot of the beachy uh, themed paintings. Okay, so that's filled in. Now, all I have left to do is the dots on my starfish itself. And once again, I will be using the same color, which is the turquoise blue that I did the background in ever so lightly. And I'm just going to go in and fill in the little dots or ovals with that same color. You know, and as I mentioned, if you wanted to get a little more creative than this and, uh, you know, use a different color palette, it'd be really cute. There are so many options when it comes to, you know, uh, painting a starfish. There's no right or wrong. It's just all the creativeness that you have and putting it down on the paper and having fun with it. That's the whole point of all of this. It's just having fun and, uh, you know, getting the creative, the creative juices in your brain going. And seeing what you can come up with. You could do the same basic design and, you know, using different color schemes and coming up with a whole, um, you know, like three or four different um, pictures or, you know, paintings and framing them all together. That would be really cool too. All right, so we're just about done here. And you can see just how quick that was, you know, just a real loose wash of paints basically. And let me kind of pull up a little bit of the paint on a couple of these little circles. Okay, perfect. Now this one, I kind of went outside the line a little bit more than what I wanted to, but that's okay. It turned out really cute and it was so quick and easy. Um, and as I said, I'm going to put it in a little frame and put it on my lanai. It'll be absolutely adorable. So that is all for this one. Um, be sure to check the description box below. I'll put a quick list of all of the materials down there. It is very basic. Thank you for spending a few minutes with me today. And until next time, ciao for now.